In this quick tip, I will show you how to replace many identical objects with instances of the same object. This will decrease your file size and increase speed, sometimes by a huge amount. It's not very uncommon to receive a scene that has many identical objects scattered around, but they are all individual polygonal objects. For example, a nature scene with many trees or rocks and pebbles or even a CAD file that has many small components like screws, rivets, bolts, nuts, etc. For the purpose of this quick tip, I'll use a palm forest made up of two different types of palm trees. If I open this hierarchy, we have a tree that's 5.1 meters high and another tree that's 5.4 meters high. Other than that, every single tree you see here is either the one or the other. Where they do differ is in their position, scale, and rotation. So as you can see, while I'm selecting, we have different PSR values. This particular scene has 400 trees, and it takes up a whopping 2.67 gigabytes on disk, which makes it quite slow when it's saving and loading. After this, the scene will be less than 15 megabytes. Now, in order to use this method, we need to have some sort of naming convention. And the good thing is that all trees of one type have this unique 5.1 text, and all the others have a unique 5.4 text. And these are the two text elements we are going to use in order to differentiate between one type and the other. Now, there are methods to select similar or identical objects based on materials on other things but that's a subject for another quick tip the last thing i want to talk about is the hierarchy as you can see all these trees reside in their own separate hierarchies now i just randomly placed different trees in different groups and the reason i did that is to show you that after the conversion we're going to do all these hierarchies are going to be retained because especially with CAD files, it's important that the objects retain their groups in the hierarchies they were created. If you don't care about that, then it's even easier for you. Let's begin the process. So number one, I need to find one representative of each tree and drag it out of the hierarchy. So I'm going to grab the first 5.1 tree I have and the first 5.4 tree. They could be any of the 5.1 or 5.4 trees but I need them outside the hierarchy because it's going to help me uh, exchange them for something else when the time comes fantastic now the next thing I want to do is replace everything else so each and every one of these palm tree hierarchies I'm going to replace it with a null now someone would say why don't you select them all and delete all children and that is because there is a no command to delete all children Anyway, what I want to do is replace each and every one of these hierarchies with just a null, but by retaining all the PSR attributes down here. And that's not a very difficult thing to do. But I have to do it in two stages. One stage, I need to do it for the 5.1s, and then I have to do it for the 5.4s. So let's click on the search magnifying glass, and let's type 5.1. And now I have all my 5.1s. Now, this is the master one on the top. So I'm going to click here and scroll all the way down and shift click and select them all. Fantastic. And what I'm going to do is go to the character conversion, convert to nulls. And there you have it. We have converted them to nulls. Let me just get rid of this and close this. And what you will see is that we have copies of these hierarchies just as nulls but the original selection is still selected which allows me to go to edit and delete it so all the 5.1 trees have been converted to nulls now but each null still has the correct psr value let's do the same thing for the 5.4 trees let's go here 5.4 click here scroll down shift click over here go back to the character and say convert to null let's get rid of this and close this down and then just go to my delete and now we have nulls for everything but we still have our trusted little trees here we're going to use so step number two let me close the hierarchies select 
the first tree and let's create an instance of it. Make sure you go to the Object tab and you enable the Render Instance switch. Excellent, select this and let's create another instance and make that a render instance. So now we have the two objects we are going to replace the nulls with in order to recreate our original scene. So let's go back to our original method and type 5.1. Click here, let me scroll all the way down here and shift click to select all the 5.1 nulls. Now I'm going to go to another tool in the character menu in the commands submenu and say replace with. Now if I go to the cogwheel you will see some settings. Just leave the default settings or take a screenshot of this and use them as they are. I'm just going to press OK. And the next thing I need to do is go and find which object I want to replace these nulls with. Click on the instance and press Enter for the command to start running. And if you wait for a couple of seconds, now every single null has been replaced by the equivalent instance. Excellent, let's go here and type 5.4. Let's click on this, scroll all the way down, shift click here, let's do the same thing. Character, command, and let's go replace with. Let's go up, then click on this, press enter, and now all the other nulls are going to be replaced. Let's get rid of this, and now you will see that we have our two master trees and everything else here is a render instance and the result of this is a scene that's very fast to navigate it's very fast to render fantastic and takes very little space on the hard drive so let's find out how much and as I told you it's under 15 megabytes so just check these numbers here 2.67 gigabytes versus 14.3 megabytes. So as you can see with this method the savings are huge and unless you actually want to deform each and every one of these trees in a separate manner which will take a long time anyway then by having the render instance switch on will actually give you enormous rendering and manipulation speed in your scene. Finally, because we're using instances, any change you make to either of the two master trees is going to propagate to every single one of your trees. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.